Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is staying warm and that your snow is almost done. We have some flurries still here in Ohio um, and we're, we're in uh, the northern part of Ohio and we still got some flurries. I think they're going to end at noon. Let's hope so. Hope everybody is shoveled out. Today we are going to be making um, these plastic uh, bag holders. Um, it's a fairly easy project, great for a beginner. This is what they look like. This one is done with um, flamingos. I did a couple different versions here that you can see. So let's get started. Okay, for this project, you are going to need some fabric and you are also gonna need some elastic. I got this elastic on Amazon, um, but they also have it at Hobby Lobby. They also have it at Joann's. You can use your scraps if you like. Um, the first thing we are going to do is we are gonna cut our fabric. And you are going to need an 18 inch piece of fabric. And this one is perfect. So I'm not going to have to cut it. Um, I am going to cut off my salvage ends on the end. You are also going to have to do, um, this is my folded side, this is my open side. You're going to want to cut three inches off the side, the salvage side. And this is going to be our handle. And then you are also going to have to cut down the fold. This will make two bags, two of the plastic holder bags. So after you cut, you should have two pieces and then two pieces for your handle. Now the next step we are going to do is we are going to iron. So we're going to make a bias out of the iron because this is going to be our our, um, our handle. So I'll we'll be right back. All right, now that we're back and we have our our straps ironed, this is what they're going to look like. Going to have you fold the insides in, then you fold them in again. I'll have to do a video on how to do those. All right, so now that you got those done, you are going to take them and you are going to sew starting on the inside or the open side first here and on the other side. So you're going to sew on both sides. I'll be back once I get that done. So when you're finished, you should have something that looks like this. And then we sewn on both sides. And then this is going to be our strap. And we'll set those aside for now. Um, you don't have to use these if you don't want to. Um, some people use ribbon. You can use um, rope, twine. twine, anything that you think you want to use. I just use this because it's already on the fabric and we're cutting it off anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and use it. So and set those aside. Now you're going to take your fabric and we are going to make a loop for our um, for our uh, elastic to go through. So you're going to iron the top 
probably about a quarter of an inch. And then you're gonna flip it over and do about a half an inch. And you're gonna iron that. Get that done and I'll be right back. All right, now that we're back after we have ironed this, and this will make our casing for our elastic. So now the next step we are going to do is we are gonna sew along the opening. I always try to get as close as I can to the edge. And you're gonna do this on both sides. All right, now that we have our casing done, it should look like this on the back. Then on the front, it should just have the one line. We did that to both the top and the bottom on both of those. Now the next step we are gonna do is we are gonna take our elastic and we are gonna cut it. And you're gonna need six and a half inches. So you're gonna need one for the top and one for the bottom. So you'll need two pieces of elastic for each of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you like your hole a little bigger or a little smaller, you can adjust this to however, whatever size you would like. But six and a half seems to be a good, good measurement for us. All right, so now that we have our elastic cut, we are going to put our elastic through our casing. So I always use a safety pin. And I put it through the elastic. Just like that. You are gonna need some pins. So when you start off, you're gonna put it through the casing. Don't go too far, because we're gonna have to pin the end. So I go to about there. And then you're gonna pin the elastic to your project. I always go up a little further, about, probably about an inch and a half, two inches from the end, because we are gonna be sewing this edge here. After you have it pinned, you're gonna go ahead and feed it the rest of the way through. And then when you get to the end, we are gonna pin on this side too. Make sure you get the elastic in this when you pin, otherwise your elastic will not hold and you won't be able to sew it through when we sew them together. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the casings and I'll be right back. All right, now you should have all four of the elastics in the casings, and you'll end up with something that looks like this. Now the next step we are going to do is we are going to sew them together to make them round. Now I, some people pin these, I do not, I, I just kind of, eyeball it, kind of put the two edges together like this, and you're gonna do a quarter of an inch seam all the way down. I backstitch up here where the elastic is. I go back and forth about two to three times to hold the elastic. And 
then from that point, you're just going to line it up. And so your, your seam. Stopping every so often and lining up. So after you have sewn your seam, you'll end up with something that looks like this. Make sure you have your pins out. And it should be a long circular bag open on both ends. Now the next step we are going to do is we are going to attach our, um, our handle, our loop which you're going to use to hang it from. So if you have directional fabric, you want to make sure you put this in the correct position for the direction of your fabric so it's going in the right direction. You're going to fold your loop in half with the raw edges together. And you're going to take it and you're going to put it right here just like this, and then you're gonna sew. I usually do about three passes back and forth. That way it's anchored, because this is gonna be holding up your bag holder. And you're gonna do that to both of your bags. And then the final step you are going to do is you are going to put your hand through to the other side, grab it, and you're going to pull it through to put it with the right side out. And after you have done this, you have a plastic bag holder. These are great, easy beginner projects for anybody learning how to sew. Um, great uses for these are in the kitchen, in the bathroom. Um, I have a lot of people purchase these from me and they use them right by their front door. So when they go on a dog walk, they can just pull out a bag um, and walk their dog with, you know, a bag so they can have, pick up the messes. Uh, people have these by their litter boxes so that when they change the litter box, they have a bag right there ready to go. I want to thank you for joining me. Please like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, you, can you can subscribe down below. Hit the little icon, the little bell icon. And you'll get notified every time I have a new video come out. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope everybody stays warm. And we will see you next time.